Peter Schweitzer, the author of Secret Empires, How the American Political Class Hides Corruption and Enriches Family and Friends. Boy, that couldn't be a more germane title, and he joins us tonight. Peter, thanks so much for coming on. We also have sent you a couple of emails that this show obtained exclusively that appear to shed some light on what Hunter Biden was doing for the Ukrainians. What does it add up to, do you think? Well, I think it adds up to is the Biden family cashing in through by corruption uh, by proxy. Uh, Hunter, sorry, Joe Biden is vice president or his wife, Jill Biden, can't take payments from foreign entities. That would have to be disclosed. Uh, that would be easy to catch. Uh, but you set up your adult kids. And in the case of the Bidens, Joe Biden was punt point person for the Obama administration towards two countries, China and Ukraine. And lo and behold, the two countries that Hunter Biden ends up doing the most business in overseas are China and Ukraine. And the amounts of money are astronomical, and the deals that he got have absolutely nothing to do with his background. He had no expertise to sell. Uh, he had no skill set to sell to either the Chinese or Ukrainians. He was being paid for something, Tucker. Uh, it certainly wasn't his skill set. I think we know what he was being paid for. I, you know, I watched over the weekend, I don't watch a lot of TV typically in the weekends, but there's an impeachment afoot. It seemed like it was worth checking in. And I saw news anchor after news anchor on all the channels bat down suggestions that there was anything wrong with Hunter Biden's arrangement with Ukraine. Why would they, why would they say that, do you think? Uh, well, I think the rules are different for certain people. Um, look, does anybody really believe that those news anchors, if we were talking about Donald Trump and Donald Trump Jr. going to Ukraine and Don Jr. getting, by the way, Hunter Biden was being paid $83,000 a month. We know that because we have the bank records, the Morgan Stanley account that it went into. His huh. business partner ended up in a, in a criminal trial, and we got those banking records. But does anybody seriously think if the name was Trump instead of Biden that the news anchors on Sunday morning would have the same attitude? Uh, it's ridiculous. Everybody knows the answer to that. And I think, Tucker, right. this is what frustrates people more acts. than anything. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it frustrates that out. people more than anything. Well, I, you know, look, um, people, I think a lot of people like Trump or don't like Trump, um, like the Democrats, don't like the Democrats. But at the end of the day, they still want to believe firmly that we are a nation of laws, not of men. Uh, but it depends what your last name is. It depends what your political affiliation is. You know, think about what did we hear in 2017 after the 2016 election? Everybody said, you can't investigate Hillary Clinton. She's not running for anything anymore. Um, she's not going to be in office. You can't investigate her. What are they saying now? Joe Biden is running for office, so you can't investigate him either. The question becomes, when do you get to investigate anybody right. at the highest level for criminal conduct? And the answer, apparently, at least for one side of the aisle, is you never get to investigate our people ever. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's just make it really easy for the traveling press corps. Let's put that picture back up on the screen. Here's Joe Biden, his son, his son's business partner. The two of the, of the four guys in that picture were working for the Ukrainians. Did they talk about it on the golf course? I mean, there it is right there. <laughs> Someone ought to ask Joe Biden that. Yeah. It's not, it's not complicated. Yeah, look, we know that Joe Biden lied when he said that. And we know that because, first of all, his own son, Hunter Biden, told The New Yorker that he did talk to his father yes. about the Burisma deal. We also know that Devin Archer in that picture had a meeting in the White House, one-on-one -on -one meeting with Joe Biden about a week before they joined the Burisma board. And finally, we know as it relates to the China deal, um, that um, the Chinese officials, the Chinese business partners to Hunter Biden, uh, yeah. admitted that when they took that trip to Beijing, China, Hunter introduced them to his father while his father was on that official trip. So he's just lying when he said they didn't discuss business. There's too much evidence otherwise. Yeah, and that's the offensive part. Ukraine is not a threat to us. China is a threat to us. Peter Schweitzer, thanks so much for that, for those details. Good to see you tonight. Thanks, Tucker.